Hey everybody, everyone's got an Altoids tin can. I decided I'd show you mine. One thing about these cans is when you are lost and you actually do need them, you really make sure you put the right stuff to take with you, okay? I mean, my wife, she thinks I'm nuts. I got stuff, I got a stack of books like this, squishing it down all week long so I can get it in the can. So whatever you do, really think about, do I need that duct tape? Do I need those pins and needles? Make sure you bring exactly what you need to survive. So this is what I got in mind. Just starting out, I got a knuckle bandage. I got some uh, water purification tablets. Up top on the uh, can, I got a utility knife blades and a, a sewing needle, except there's no thread in here. Uh, I got cotton balls, a small flashlight, fire striker, waterproof matches, uh, antibiotic ointment, I got a compass. If, make sure you got a compass in this. You get lost in the woods and you need to find where you're at and make sure you have a compass. I got a whistle, whistle for help. I got a uh, little multi-tool, picked it up at the dollar store, nothing fancy. I got a little lancet to get out a splinter. I got some electrolytes. I got uh, two insect sting reliefs because we have lots of mosquitoes up here. I have a little Scooby Dooby shag from the dollar store. It's just a magic towel. You put a little water to it and it opens up. I got a lighter. Also, everyone should bring some orange uh, uh, ribbon with them. If you get lost in the woods, this is a handy dandy thing to tie around trees. Not only for people to follow, but for you to backtrack to. I got some snare wire. Some more snare wire because you can't have enough of that. I got a little Gerber, uh, oh, it's a little multi-tool. It's a crescent wrench. It's got different uh, screwdriver bits on it. I think there's even a little light on it. Isn't much, but something. A uh, little waterproof container. I don't know if it's waterproof, but keeps your matches dry. I got the spork. Everyone needs the spork. I got uh, energy bars to eat. I got some paracord that's coming undone. Must have never pushed it in there right. Another energy bar. Oh, I got some glow sticks. These are really, you need these. Everyone should have those. If your batteries go dead, you know, you got something. Uh, this is a Bear Grylls uh, emergency blanket. It's a little bigger than the little dollar ones you buy at uh, Dunham's and stuff. So I would, I would uh, invest in something like this. Got another energy bar. Another thing of paracord. You can't keep, you can't get enough paracord in these. Also, a lot of people uh, bring matches and stuff, but and I don't understand why they just bring, you know, a little bit of this, something of this. I like to bring the whole box. You know, that way I got plenty of matches for on the trip. This is a waterproof emergency poncho. Very nice to have. This here is a, oh, it's the pocket uh, chainsaw. That is really nice. It's a lot better than the little wire snares, or not the snares, but the little wire saws. This is a lot better to have than that. Also, flashlights. I got this little one, but a person really, you know, you should be prepared. If you're going to stick a flashlight in an Altoid tin can, make sure it's a good one. You know, this one, it's going to last me a while. Also, bottled water. If you're lost in the woods, you don't know where the nearest water is going to come from, make sure you got a, uh, at least one bottled water with you. Also, you should have a container, when you do find water, something you can boil it in. I also like to carry some rat traps. These are great for uh, catching squirrels, put a little bait on there, whatever you can find in the woods. So always carry a rat trap with you. Not only one, carry two. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna carry some traps, carry two. Oh, what do we got here? Another glow stick. Can't get enough of those. This here is a uh, hand sanitizer. Small, fits right in here easy. Flashlight. You know, these are nice to carry around, but at nighttime, something on top of your head. This is uh, so much better to have. Keeps your hands free. This is like pulling a rabbit out of a hat in here. Also, I carry my little portable grill with me. 
So after I do catch a squirrel or something, I can set this grill up and cook the squirrel over it. Water purification. I have this little, uh, I don't remember what the name of it's called, Frontier Pro. Uh, I've never really used it because I've always had the bottle of water with me, but if I ever need to uh, drink out of a creek that's dirty and it's got animal scat, whatever you got in there, make sure you got a water purifier. I got another uh, strike force. Can't keep enough strikers. This is a, a rain suit, complete rain suit, pants and jacket. Here, for shelter, I got a 5x7 tarp. It's an outdoor product. I picked it up at Walmart. They're like, I don't know, six, seven bucks. Uh, it's, it fits in the Altoid can so easy. So, I mean, you got, you got to have something like this for shelter. Oh, I got three glow sticks. Also, I got my survival candle, so I'm good there for if I need something to cook over. And also, if you get lost, bring a hunter safety vest. Put that on when you're lost, people can see you easier. You know, you're just going to be easier to find. Oh, I got my little hand crank flashlight. Picked this up at Walmart too, it's just a little Kuglins or Kuglins, whatever you say it. But if the batteries go dead, you always got a little backup flashlight. First aid kit. This is pretty much at the bottom of the kit. I got my stuff at the top that I really need just for little cuts and stuff. But I got a better kit in here. Bigger bandages, more wipes. So if you really get hurt in the trail, you can put those on. Here, I got a little shovel. A little collapsible shovel. Always good to have with you. And I got my knife sharpener. It's got coarse and fine on both sides. This is a dandy little uh, knife sharpener. Plus, we got a lot of mosquitoes up here, so I always pick up this little travel pack of uh, mosquito wipes. Must have in the summertime. And also, the SAS Survival Guide. You know, you can fit this in the Altoid can, you can put this near the bottom. I mean, it's got everything in there, what you need to do in a survival situation. And now, this is my fishing kit. I'm not going to go through this. If you guys think I got a lot in my Altoids tin can, wait till you see what I got in my fisherman's kit. So, another thing that uh, my son brought to my attention is you should always have a cell phone with you. Have it charged just in case of emergency. Also, the three people I want to tag, can I have the envelope please? All right, here we go. Uh, tagging three people, I want you to make a video on the impossible. First person is Dr. Doug. Uh, his YouTube channel is Doug Morris. I know if there's a person up to it, he can do it. Uh, really big monkey one. We haven't seen you on YouTube in a while. Dave and your son, I know that you guys can come up with something. And survival on purpose. Brian, he's a great guy. Uh, get your Boy Scouts involved and try to come up with something that's impossible to do. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. We're out of here.